And welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today, the 19th of May, 2023. We hope you had a good week and welcome to Friday. And I'm sure you're looking forward to the weekend. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news as we close the week. Strong session overnight on Wall Street. We saw all major indices to the upside moving towards the top of the recent range. The Nasdaq has broken through technically as debt ceiling progress boosts sentiment. US futures are trading slightly higher so far in Asian markets and obviously Asian indices following that strong US lead again. ASX is up around about half a percent. The European futures are pointing to a positive open and the VIX closed last night's session at 18 month lows, suggesting the market is very calm at, at this stage. US dollar index surprisingly moved higher again. That inverse relationship between the USD and the S&P 500 seems to be broken for right now. It is slightly lower today. Gold drops on that USD strength, though we are seeing a little bounce in Asia, which may simply be short covering at this stage. It'd be interesting to see uh, its course throughout today. Copper is in a short term trading range above six month lows after dropping again last night. And oil pulls back from the top of the recent range. Pretty neutral today so far. Bitcoin is within that 3000 range, which we seem to have been talking about for eternity. Uh, it's bounced off support level of 27,000. Looks fairly mellow at this stage today. Uh, US earnings com season almost completed. Just the final retailers to report. We have had some Japanese CPI data came out, which beat expectations. Later on, there's not much coming out, really. There's German PPI, which is important. But then it's Fed member speeches out of the US tonight. Notably, Jerome Powell, the Fed chairman, is speaking along with a couple of his colleagues at different events. But of course, debt ceiling negotiations will remain a major story and may move market sentiment. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, the Aussie yen has our interest. It pushed up again yesterday, but really failed to breach 92, which we think is a key level here. If we breach 92, we could see it up 75 to 80 pips. If we look at the hourly chart for a little more detail, you can see it did move right up to 92 there. But that's the move we're looking for. If we just take it back on the hourly chart and... So say we looked at 92, there's possibly a move up of around about 45 to 50 pips in the first instance. That will be tested. And then possibly if there's further volume momentum up those 80 pips or so potentially. If we look at the ASX, one of the stocks that's caught our eyes, AI stock APX. Now we had this massive drop that occurred three days ago, which had a bounce within the same day. Since then, we've had some significant buying pressure coming in. And we're looking now at a potential move over 255 to suggest that this is worth re-entry. We had this little drop off on a fundamental report, uh, but we, this has recovered quite well. Maybe a move up to $3 is on the cards, but it's worthwhile being patient until we get confirmation of a breach over, of a break over 255. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.